Hey guys, welcome back to Halo Cannon. I'm very excited to come to you today to talk about a new game recently announced, Halo Spartan Strike. A spiritual successor to Spartan Assault, Spartan Strike is a top-down twin-stick shooter for Windows 8 computers, tablets, and phones via the Windows Store or Steam. No Xbox versions are planned at the moment, but none were planned for Spartan Assault, and we all know how that went. Now onto the stuff I'm sure you care about if you clicked over to my channel, The Story. Spartan Strike is set in the year 2552 during the Battle of New Mombasa. The UNSC and Covenant are after a forerunner artifact known as the Conduit, which has some connections to the Prometheans we see in Halo 4. In the IGN overview, 343 producer Fred Laporte said, So, we start our events in 2552 during the same events as Halo 2. So that was a very familiar sounding year. Yeah, in uh, New Mombasa, uh, you start there, you're trying to recover an artifact that the Covenant are running after to... Uh, invite their Promethean friends in. Uh, now, let's take a step back and think for a second. I'm almost positive that Mr. Laporte was paraphrasing, unless 343 are heavily changing their own canon. While not impossible, I'm willing to wait until we have a more definitive plot summary. After the first operation, the game fast forwards to 2557, taking us to Gamma Halo and continuing our struggle over this mysterious conduit. From Gamma Halo, we travel to a new Forerunner site known as the Altar, and later traveling to New Phoenix on Earth. This last location has brought on a swath of speculation from fans. Could these levels be set during the Didex attack on Earth? There was certainly plenty of time between his arrival and the composer's activation to allow for it. Or could it be set after? The Didex attack was on July 25th, leaving several months left in the year 2557 for things to happen. And based on dialogue in Halo 4, we know a lot was happening during that time. So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum Seekers, all pinned up. Yeah, DeMarco said it was crazy. Well, it could have been worse. I mean, look what happened to New Phoenix. We even caught this one St. Gailey freak. Try to detonate a Havoc new. Spurn Strike will feature a new main character whose name we do not yet know. Of somewhat troubling note, canonically speaking, is the Spurn's appearance in the Battle of New Mombasa. For those who don't know, the Spartan 4 program didn't kick off until January of 2553, with Spartans Palmer, Davis, and Scruggs being among the first inductees. So, no Spartan 4 should have been present at the Battle of New Mombasa. Still, we clearly see this Spartan featured in the game's cover art in that battle. Could it be a placeholder? Could a different Spartan be testing out some new Mjolnir variant? Could it simply be a Spartan 3 that later joined the Spartan 4s? Or could it be that this game acts as a simulation, simply placing a Spartan in the events, rather than simply letting them play through it, like Spartan Assault? Whatever the case may be, 343 better have a damn good explanation if a Spartan 4 is going to be present at New Mombasa. Spartan Strike will mark the first in-game appearance of the Kestrel VTOL, a vehicle first seen as a Mega Block set and a product of the Oni Reap X Division. It is genuinely exciting to see this vehicle make its way into the games, and it gives me hope that more of these Mega Bloks exclusive vehicles could be in Halo 5 or beyond. Finally, let's talk about the overall story. One of the biggest complaints regarding Spartan Assault was the lack of a real story. I can't imagine too much being added to a game as small as Spartan Strike, but it does seem that there's a lot more going on. In addition to a time jump and a much larger array of locations, we can also see in the footage a new character, Lieutenant Kwan, talking to the Spartan during missions. This would certainly suggest that this game, while not as story intensive as a Halo shooter might be, will have more to it than Spartan Assault did. Overall, I'm excited for this. Spartan Strike looks to be a huge step up over its predecessor, with enhanced gameplay, more vehicles, the removal of microtransactions, and greater platform support. The game will be available on December 12th of this year on Windows devices through Windows Store and Steam for $5.99. Buying the game on a single Windows device will grant you access to it on any other. For example, I can buy it on my Windows phone, then access it from my Windows PC. However, buying the game through the Windows Store will not get you access to the version through Steam, and vice versa. So, that's all for now, Spartans. Thank you for joining as always, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.